I really don't have words for it. It's crushing. It truly is. I'm happy my dad did not have to see this this way. You may have seen the viral photos of this house fire on the southwest side of Indy from last night. 24 hours later, as the dust begins to settle, a family shares the memories in a home built by their father. WRTV's Griffin Gonzalez has the latest. I really don't have words for it. I really don't have words for it. It's crushing. It truly is. A cabin full of stories. And I always remember playing in all the trap doors with her when we were little. Whenever we got a little older, they sealed the trap doors, but the trap doors were necessary to finish the building of the property. Turn to ash in minutes. My father built this home. I was born into this home in 1983. I mean, we lost my father in 2018 and it's I couldn't let it. I had to get here to see it. Nicole Kirby grew up in this home that was built by her late father. He was an amazing craftsman. He owned a beautiful wallpaper store. He was known as the wallpaper man and my dad cut them down. He fell them and he hauled them here where he built our home. Saturday night, a fire broke out leading to the total destruction of the home. So we're very fortunate that nobody was injured. There were a lot of men out here, very, very brave to watch them do what they do to save the rest of the neighborhood and save the, the garage and the, the homes around it. Kirby and her family moved out in 2007, but she has always held a special connection with this place. And you know, it's a community sort of legacy where if you drive by, it's always been that sort of landmark. It's all, you know, the if you look over 465, the log cabin and everyone knows it. It was the most amazing place to grow up. And despite the destruction, Kirby remains grateful. Because we're very fortunate that this house has been here for this long. They really came in and poured a lot of love and energy into it. In Indianapolis, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV.